All right, leaders, this is part two of how to use your graphics editor inside the Illinois Tea Party website. Uh, we left off basically with um, these buttons over here, these last four buttons. Um, the first one I guess we're going to talk about is, uh, I want to talk about is this green check mark right over here. And what that is, is that's your clean button. Okay, if you look down here, what I've done is I've taken uh, text from another website, my website, teapartyspace.org. I'm like, I want to use some of this in my blog entry. And I've gone overhead and I've put it in there. But when I paste it in there, what I find out is it, it makes it look all goofy. And so I just, it, the colors don't match nothing. So what I can do is I can use this check mark, which is the cleaner button. And when I click it, you notice, okay, it turned it, it shrank it, it turned it blue, but it still left the uh, the highlight. So all I have to do is go to the highlight, click the highlight tool, and select white, which is this one right here. And now it's all white. And if you notice, the link right here is still active. It's a great tool. Now remember before I was talking about that full justify. If you noticed over here, it, it just kind of looks goofy, you know, it doesn't all line up pretty. But if you go ahead and you hit this full justify button right here, now look, it bases everything out so you have a nice flat edge and everything looks good. So that's the cleaner tool. It, the cleaner tool will not always get rid of everything. Most of the time it does, but sometimes it doesn't. If not, you're going to have to go into the HTML, which I'm about to show you here in a little bit, to clean it up. But now what I want to do is uh, I want to add up some pictures because we always want to put pictures in our blogs or videos. So for that, that's this tool right here, the image tool. You simply click on the image tool and it's going to open up something. Uh, and for me, what I want to do, uh, the first thing I guess is I'm going to put in the SpaceX logo. Uh, got this awesome SpaceX logo here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply highlight this up here by Control A and then I'm going to hit Control C. And then I'm going to go back over here and I'm going to go ahead and put it in my blog. I'm going to highlight A, I'm going to delete it out, and I'm going to hit Control V and put the new one in. I'm going to make sure that it's called SpaceX logo because that's what it is. I'm going to align it to the left and I'm going to insert the image. And now you can see I've got this monster SpaceX image. You know, that's, that's really big. Um, we need to trim that down. So what I'm going to do is click the HTML tool at this time. And what you're going to see is everything changes. No more graphics, all HTML. Don't panic, it's not a big deal. If you notice, I put the image at the very top of uh, the, the um, blog. So the very first thing you see is this open care with the image alt. Okay, whenever you see that, you know that there's going to be a, a SpaceX, or I'm sorry, an image. So to shrink this down, all I have to do is go to the end here, just type width, W-I-D-T-H, equals 600. And then I simply hide it. And you notice now it's um, it's there. Now I'm going to put in a picture from my hard drive. And from that, what I'm going to do is go over here. And instead of cutting and pasting a URL, I'm simply going to highlight that and delete it. I'm going to go to my Browse button. I'm going to go over here. And I'm going to go to my hard drive. And the first thing you see right here is this thing up here, the change folder. For the love of everything right, holy, human, and good, do not touch that. If you start saving things in crazy places, bad things happen. So just leave it alone. Right here is the choose file. You notice we have no file chosen. So I'm going to click that. It's going to bring up something, uh, another window. And uh, I want to get a picture of a rocket. So I'm going to scroll down here until I see a rocket that I like. Um, there's one right there, Falcon 1. So I'm just going to select that. Now you notice it goes ahead and it has the Falcon one there, and I'm simply going to click this Upload Now button. And when I do, it's going to populate down here. I've already uploaded it, save some time, and uh, now all I have to do is hit the Insert button. Now I get to decide which side I want it on again, and uh, you know what, I want to put it on the right. I want it on the right this time, and I'm going to insert it. This is the table tool. If you're going to build a table with this, um, that's the only thing we're having a hard time finding as far as the editor goes, is a good table tool. What I recommend is using Office 2010 Excel, building it there and just saving it as a HTML, copying all the HTML code, go into your HTML editor, and just pasting it in that way.
Last thing I want to show you is uh, how to put in a video. So this is a story that I'm working on is with the Chinese, and this is actually a launch of their uh, rocket and um, their brand new mini space station that's up there. And what a lot of people don't know about this is they're actually demonstrating techniques that NASA doesn't even have. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to embed this video in my blog. I'm going to hit the embed code. And you notice I've got all this code down here. I simply hit Control C to copy it all. I go back to my blog. I hit Control V, and then I hide my HTML. And when I scroll down to the bottom, you notice I've got my video there, except it's not centered. So uh, I want to go back and center that. So here's a trick that I'm going to teach you. Whenever you use HTML code, you have to open the caret so it's the less than and then the greater than. And you simply type in center, and you close the link. And then at the bottom, you hit slash center just like so. I'll let you look at that in a minute. And what that does is that's going to center everything that's in between there. And so I'm going to hide that and now you can see the video is perfectly centered. And, and though that is everything that you're going to need to know on how to manipulate the editor. Uh, I definitely recommend that you come back and watch this a few times if you're not sure about something and again you can always email me at andrew at tpartyinspace.org and I will try to help you as best I can. Honestly, uh, once you use the editor one or two times you're going to be good to go. Uh, this will end part two and in part three I'm actually going to build my blog.